Hello friends out there, uh, this is Dave and I'm actually going to show you today some uh, building techniques and I bought the first two buildings for my my uh, model railroad here at my local hobby shop and the I bought pre-assembled buildings built by Model Power because uh, I just want to see how they came out and uh, what I could do to weather them and you see here kind of a untouched side of this uh, railroad station kind of shiny and plastic looking but with just one quick little technique totally different effect and I'm going to show you what I did to do this. I used a little bit of dry brushing and a little bit of a technique, I'm not quite sure the name of it, I call it wet, extra wet brushing. Uh, up here I did dry brushing and here I did some wet brushing so stay tuned and I'll show you. Alright so I'm going to do a couple different brushing techniques here to make this side of the building look like the other side of the building here and hopefully not kick my tripod like I did here in the start of this take. Now, a couple tools I have are some paint brushes, very important, dry paper towel, damp paper towel, uh, a little, just a little, little bit of water, and I can start off here and do some dry brushing maybe on this roof here. I'm going to mention this is a building that was already pre-constructed. Um, I just happened to like this train station and it happened to be the one they had in the, uh, you know, in my, in, my, in my store. This is a lot easier to do in a kit when it's on the sprue and hopefully I'll do that in another video when I put a kit together. Um, it's, it's easier to weather before you build. Um, I have another building here. We're going to do another different technique on. Actually, there's a sister to this building, too, a twin sister to this building. We'll do that, too, on that also. And these are made by Model Power in Germany. And they are pre-assembled, pre-lit. We'll see how that works. Sometimes the buildings glow when you light them, unless you paint the inside black, which I'm not going to be able to do here. Let's get started here. I'm going to do some dry brushing. So I'm going to get my uh, paper towel out. And a dry brush out of my uh, pack of cheap brushes here for doing this. It's a cheap brush like that. And this is a uh, poly scale or poly S, some people call it rust color. I'm just going to dip, that's a lot actually, just a very, very, very tip of the brush and blot out paint. And come in here and just hit very lightly the roof tiles here. And the one problem that you may notice, have, uh, a mistake you might have noticed I made, because this is pre-assembled, it's really hard to get into these areas without accidentally hitting that beautiful white trim. So, uh, be careful, but if you hit it, you hit it. And I may or may not um, come in here with some white paint or something and a very fine paintbrush and try to clean that up after. Okay, so get that. Basically, this will not dry glossy, it'll dry like it did on the other side. And I can pick a little bit off, off of this, I bet. That'll help us a bit. And I hit it there, so. Yeah, if I'm annoyed by all the spots where I've uh, hit my hit my trim without intending to. I'll come back later and clean that up. The reason I'm not using a smaller brush is I need kind of a stiff, I think I need a little bit of a stiff bristle to do this. And that's why I'm not using a smaller artist's brush. And it doesn't have to be perfect, there can be variations in the the amount of paint and the tonality and things. This is a weathered roof, nothing weathers evenly it seems in nature there. Uh, I'm gonna come up here I'm having good luck here with this dry brushing, but what happened on the other side 
is you can actually see dry brushing gets the highlighted areas like I had here. If you guys can see that, it's a highlighted area. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, and I got a glob of paint on over here by accident, so I panicked. And I ran over the sink. This is water-based paint. I uh, ran over the sink, grabbed an old toothbrush, started scrubbing this and trying to scrub the paint off. Well, I got the paint off the high spots and all the little cracks here. And that's actually a technique I, I used in the past for putting, putting mortar in brick. And it works. And it will cut the uh, sheen down here, and I might try doing that. And I have a brush here that's wet, so I'm gonna keep, I try to keep my dry brushes separate from my wet brushes. So, basically, I'm gonna wet this down. Just damp. I'll get my little paper towel here that I've been using to dampen that off and brushing on a little bit of water. Trying not to get it on the white trim to the best of my ability and doing pretty well except for that um, trim right along the roof line. That's wet. Very wet brush. A little bit of paint. Take some of it off. Because this is so wet, and I paint it on, it's very thinned out paint. It's getting into all the nooks and crannies and not staying on the edges very well. Matter of fact, put a little more water there and brush that off and you can see that starting to happen a little bit different than what the effect we had on the other side. But the building he had his roof repaired. Doesn't need the exact same effect, you know. Oh, I slipped up. Got a bunch on the top there. Let's see what happens. Let's see what it looks like. It actually looks kind of like weathering if I just... And here's an example of I put way too much paint on. How I'm going to deal with that? Simple. Teachable moment. Oh no, what am I going to do? Very wet. wet paper towel, take off all that excess, that accident I made there. And maybe we'll come back in and try to do a little bit more. Painting or blotting, a little goes a long way. And you know what, your technique may vary. This this is a technique I think looks fine, works fine for me, and looks good and works good for what I do. And I'm gonna show you another technique here on that other building in a Okay, so for this building here, I want there to be the illusion of mortar inside these bricks. And it just looks sort of plasticky, and I actually could get by without putting the mortar in. And there's a spray enamel that Tester sells that's uh, called Dull Coat, that'll dull the plastic sheen here. If this wasn't a kit that was already assembled, I probably would actually just take some abrasive cleaner, like some 
Bon Ami or something like that and a toothbrush and scrub it and take the sheen out of it. But I don't have that luxury here because it's already built and it's already got windows in it. And I'm actually afraid if I spray the tester's dull coat on it that I will um, take the windows out. Or sorry, um, dull the windows too much. They won't be shiny anymore. Also, to put the mortar on, on, the, on the sprue, easy. I'm not worried about getting it anywhere else. It takes some extra time here to do this. So what we're going to do is I have a tan paint color. This is a color called CXX Tan. Again, it's one of the uh, polyscale paints. And I'm going to try on this side of the building here. I'm actually going to have it on my layout, the two of the buildings, just like they were in the box, actually. Kind of something like that, so you might not see in there too well, so if I totally screw this up, um, it won't be the end of the world, okay? So, first I'm just trying to get everything wet. I don't think this is going to go so well. Alright, I had to actually go get a very large uh, set of channel lock pliers to get this lid off. Uh, I'm still gonna go for it. So, get a little open. I actually broke off one of the little uh, chimneys here and I think the building looks fine without it but I might just super glue that back on at a later time. So, I'm gonna get the brush pretty wet. that little lid. Help the capillary action does its business here. And I think if I take my time, I know I just took it out of the camera. The camera's filled the view. I've got a dry brush here. Got some of the excess out of the corners. A little bit much, too much paint. Come in with a piece of corner dry paper towel here. Sop that up. Just blot it off. Come back in. There you go. There's a, there's a happy medium here, but you might be able to see how much more realistic, how much more realistic that looks compared to that. It's very limey looking brick. Um, limey as in uh, lots of lime in the mortar, not as in the uh, the wonderful people of Great Britain. I'm, I'm happy with that. It's going to go better than I think. And you know what? You don't learn you don't know what you can and can't do until you try it, so... Water there. There's a real happy medium between too wet and too dry. And it's really hard to find. Also, I'm finding go use your finger as a squeegee. You just go over the brick very lightly. We're good, and I have a small artist brush that's so dry, and I'm coming in along these ledges here. And. Cleaning them up. 